the, this text answers, why did Christ give gifts who minister the word to the church? Why would he do that? Why would Christ ascend on high and give gifts like these men, like these office holders, to the church? What's the purpose? First, for the purpose of equipping the saints. Second, not for the purpose of spiritual instability and immaturity. Third, but for the purpose of growth in Christ. What was the purpose of Christ giving apostles, prophets, evangelists, and pastors and teachers to the church? Look, uh, keep the text close to you as we look at it. The text begins with, for the equipping of the saints. This Greek word for equipping means to make fully ready, carries the sense of completion instead of process. In the medical world, this, world, this word for equipping would be used to mean fully setting a bone. In context, though, Jesus Christ resurrected in glory as the God-man ascended into heaven and himself personally chosen persons to equip all his saints for ministry work. These gifted men are given all that is necessary by the Spirit to minister the word to their respective congregations for the purpose of this, making those believers completely ready to do the work of Christian ministry. These equippers are not self-made. They're gifts from Christ. Their trade is not done with a wrench or a hammer. It's not done in operating complex technology like a ship or an aircraft. It's not, their trade is not done with a scalpel. It's not done with civil law like a lawyer. It's not done with oratory like a philosopher. Their trade, their craft, is the word of the living God. Christ gives them grace to make his people fully ready to do the work of the ministry by using the word of God. Therefore, brothers and sisters and those who are listening, do not despise Christ's equippers, especially as they speak the word of God to you. For to do so is to despise Christ's will for your readiness in his kingdom, for your ability to serve in his kingdom. Christ's purpose in giving gifts is not merely to equip, though, for the work of the ministry. There's a, a, a continuation here. He wills that all the saints work for a subsequent purpose. So, first of all, Christ ascends. Then he gives gifts. Those people are equippers. They equip the people of God. Now the people of God are equipped to do what? Work, serve, exercise their spiritual gifts and disciplines, right? What is their purpose? What is your purpose in serving? You say you're equipped, you listen, you know the word of God, and you have been saved, you're a member here. What is the purpose of your work in the ministry? In the text, it says, for the edifying of the body of Christ. There are other things, but in this text, the focus is on the edification of the church. How are we supposed to be edified? By the universal ministry of the saints. How are we supposed to be equipped to minister? By receiving the word from Christ's gifts. This is the clear biblical path to the church's edification. Saints are equipped by ministers of the word with a correct understanding of scripture. Those, they obey in faith that self-same word, and serve in their various capacities. Then as they serve and minister in love, using that word, the church is built up, strengthened, and edified. Try, try to step up, take a step back from your own immediate personal context and think about the glorious design of it. How Christ would have a people unified, understanding what they ought to do, equipped properly with his word and ministering. Think about good examples among us. Think about how people run across assurance issues. They run across marital issues. They run across all kinds of issues with sin plaguing their conscience, with sin affecting the way that they believe things and how there are examples among us that can come alongside, share the word of God and be a comfort and be an encouragement and be a rebuke. And how that person who receives that and is like a, a listening ear, an obedient ear, they are edified. Imagine having a whole congregation like that with people who are equipped to serve one another, sharing what they're taught that everyone else might be edified and a whole congregation of people working together. Those people will not be easily moved. 